Good morning. Welcome to Rienzi. My name is Stephanie and I am one of the museum educators here. I am standing in the Camellia Garden and behind me is the home, Rienzi, that was the former home of Harris and Carol Masterson. They lived here from 1954 until they passed away in the mid-1990s. And um, in 1999, we opened to the public as part of the Museum of Fine Arts Houston. Inside the home, you'll find um, European decorative arts, but outside you'll see garden spaces like this one, uh, right now not in bloom. But we hope that you will want to come and visit us. The gardens are always free and there's an audio guide that you can listen to on your phone. Be sure to wear your mask, wear comfortable shoes, and possibly a hat if you're not in the shade. So um, we hope we'll see you at Rienzi soon. Thanks very much. Hi, I'm Stephanie, one of the museum educators here at Rienzi, the European House for Decorative Arts at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston. And I'm standing in a really unique part of our garden, uh, the Folly Garden. And I'm joined by the head of landscape um, for all of the museum properties. Uh, this is Bart Brechter. And Bart, thanks for being here today. Thanks for asking me. We, um, we know this Folly Garden. We're here every day working at Rienzi, but could you tell us what is a Folly Garden? Yeah, so um, a folly garden is, is a garden that's uh, made to look like an uh, old ruin. And this became really popular in England in the 1700s um, when the height of their world power kind of was spurring their economy and, and everything going on with, uh, with their landscape design. And so if you were to go today to England to a garden, you would see a structure that looked like it belonged in Rome which in fact uh, it most likely is a, a folly. And so this particular garden represents a, a folly that you would find maybe part of the Roman Empire or Greek Empire. Um, and, uh, and being that uh, Rienzi is the European decorative art branch of the Museum of Fine Arts, um, it, it fits in really, really nicely. And so I know the Mastersons um, did this probably in the later part of when they were building the garden, probably in the 1970s. And Mr. Masterson joked it was a folly because we're right next to Buffalo Bayou and so there were a lot of mosquitoes out here. Right. Um, I mentioned Buffalo Bayou during Hurricane Harvey, this part of the garden was underwater. Mm -hmm. And because it's a folly, it, it looks like a ruin, but how did you, you know, rejuvenate it after Hur Hurricane Harvey? That's a great question. So luckily it is a folly and we have an opportunity to have a, a an old, old structure here. Um, pretty much it left a lot of mud and silt. We were able really just to wash it all away. We are very close to the pr proximity of the Buffalo Bayou. So just a little bit of cleanup and we were right back to uh, the way the Folly Garden looked when uh, before Harvey. That's wonderful. I, you know, I remember seeing it after Harvey and, and it's, it's wonderful to see it like this. Um, are there any other points about the Folly Garden you want to tell us before we say goodbye to the guests? Yeah, so it's really neat about uh, the structure that we're standing next to is the, the columns in the rear or behind are brick and those were taken from Mr. Masterson's old uh, home that he grew up in and uh, he bought uh, these marble columns in France. And so these two different structures or two different uh, materials were put in to make one um, material. The, the structure does need a little restoration. Mr. Masterson had a pergola over the top that uh, Wisteria grew on. And we're in the process of looking into the expense and the feasi feasibility of providing that uh, final piece that we would need to restore this structure as Mr. Masterson left it to us. I'm really looking forward to it. I didn't know that. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. And I didn't know it's about the cool. bricks. So you learn something new every day at Rienzi. Um, well, I really appreciate you doing this for us today. Well, thank you for asking. And I hope to see you at the Rienzi Gardens. So thank you.